Hi guys, another day, another board, and another repair. I'm getting quite good at this. Well, I'm enjoying it. That's the main thing. I think I think that's the important thing about it is enjoying it. So I had a visit from again Victor Marland, um, who dropped by and dropped me some uh, cool Naomi bits and also dropped me off two Galaxian boards, a Namco Galaxian and a Midway Galaxian. Um, let's grab the Midway. Today we're not talking about the Midway one, we're going to be talking about the Namco one um, because they both need repair but I've only just started working on the Namco one. First thing I did was I gave them a wash because they were really filthy and just across here it's, uh, somebody wrote in black marker Galaxian so I got that off as well. Um, started off with DC modding it, so DC modding's done. Um, it had a smoothing cap broken so we replaced that. That was easy enough to do, it wasn't too bad. Um, what I will say now actually is I probably will go backwards and forwards on this video with before and after pictures because I've been taking pictures um, so I'll probably be ending up editing this video rather than uploading it as it is. Um, so you will find before and after pictures just cr cropping up now and then. Um, so yeah, so we did that. It changed over that. That wasn't a big deal. We also changed this chip. Uh, before picture will be shown. Um, but yeah, here it is. It's the old one. And that's the new one. So give you a close up of that. As you can see. So we switched that over. I was pretty sure it's an MB3712. Although the number's been sort of broken away but I was pretty sure that's what it was so we swap, swap that over and you've got your sound amp there and it's pretty pretty neat um, Z80 looked good from just general inspection it is missing a 9101 board's also missing 27 LS 00s two of those there so I need to get those also um, what it was is I'll quickly show you as well, although it's been taken off for the DC mod, but one of the legs was broken on there. And also the DC mod, it was DC modded, believe it or not. And how it was DC modded was the um, the quick and dirty way, meaning a wire from there coming round onto there. Now that caused a problem, and I'll tell you why, I'll quickly show you, because the pad's torn off. That wasn't me, that was done when whoever did the DC mod. Um, so yeah, the other thing was as well, and again, you'll be seeing before and afters on this as well. I think I did take pictures of that. So you will see the before and afters. Um, also here as well, um, that was a really nasty um, patchwork done there. It's a few broken tracks. So I've cleaned up the patchwork and um, made it look much nicer and much neater. Um, even from a distance, you can't even really hardly tell. You might be looking at that, but that's okay. I've checked that. Um, no broken traces on that. It's just a sort of a light scratch, which I can fix. Again there as well, I've checked that. That is a light scratch. Um, track's not broken there. Um, so that's that. And um, the other thing that I did... Uh, check as well and um, is a couple of the chips were socketed around this area so I started taking them out and checking them now a lot of them ended up snapping off um, see there it just, just broke rusted out I mean quite a lot of the chips are rusted and just broke so I'll be going through them slowly but the way I'll be changing them over is I won't just change them over if they break if they snap if they're not working they get desoldered, socketed, new chip going. So I'll just quickly show you. Um, so that one's been changed. That one's been changed. That one's been changed. That one's been changed. That one's been cleaned. That one's been cleaned. It's okay now. 
you can see it's nice and clean so it's fine they were fine they just need a bit of a clean that one's been cleaned those have been cleaned as well the ones that are in there at the moment now the schematic this is obviously a namco not a midway one midway one says that these chips are 27 ls double o's but these are tm 107s i'm hoping they're the same and i can just replace with 007s in there um, sorry, 27 LS double O's. Um, that would be good if I can. Uh, thinking James Bond here for some reason. But yeah, if I could, that would be good. I'd just put some double O's in there. But yeah, so far, that's how that's how far I've got. Once I've got the 9101 in there and the 27 double O's in there, then what I'll probably do is switch it on with the jammer adapter. I've got a Pac-Man jammer adapter, which I can just... Do a bit of um, changes on to to make it work with the Galaxian, and then we can take it from there. See what's wrong. How I'm going to be testing this is also a really cool thing. Um, if I just move this away for a second, the way I'm going to be testing it is thank you to Paul Swan. He deserves a mention on this, and we have been talking about here this little equipment over the past few sort of, over the past week or so now. Well, actually, past couple of weeks, I would say and it's this it's an arduino mega 2560 the sketch is being written by paul swan this pcb piece and that purple pcb piece at the top has also been designed by paul swan himself those resistors are 470 buffer pins uh, buffer resistors for the arduino pins going across there and what it does is it plugs into the Z80 port from there and once it's plugged into the Z80 port then you can fire up your board and do your, do your initial tests with the uh, particular sketch you have to load in the particular sketch but it can do Z80 it can do 6502s I think it is and 8605 um, CPU boards um, like Quasar, Scramble uh, Galaxian, Jack Rabbit, Tomahawk, Triple Seven, um, and a few other boards that he's added that he's been repairing over the over the past using this. Now, I'll quickly show you. It's really, it's really simple to use. So you choose your game. So you choose your game. There's Galaxian there. Press select. Press select. So and then you got your tests. So bus idle, bus check, ROM check all. Run check CS, interrupt check, uh, interrupt read, uh, out route for right. Like, for example, if I do a ROM check, I could press select, and then we can again, we can choose what ROM to check, even. So, it's pretty good, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with that. Just press the reset button, and that brings it back to in circuit tester. And that's what it is it's an in-circuit tester and i'm really i'm really happy with this i think this is an awesome bit of kit now one thing to remember is that this is um uh flat spectra flat uh paul swan used spectra uh, twin twist flat twist uh, i found that this works just fine just as well as the spectra twist so i'm quite happy to just leave it as that and it works just fine for me and I've not had any interference problems or anything like that so that's that there so hopefully we'll be using this to do any extra testing or anything else that we need to test with um, so hopefully we'll have two Galaxian boards working and they will both then be 18 in 1 multi boarded which we've got the kits for from Mike Coates thank you very much Mike for those and so a quick thanks to Mike as well so there we go fingers crossed we'll get things working and get them up and running and i hope you guys follow this repair because more videos will be coming in regards to these galaxian repairs thanks a lot for watching and hope you enjoy